Welcome to another video for the world of Sacrophenia. This time we're going to cover a little about bugs and our bug tracker. So let's say you're logged in. As you can see here, we're logged into the main system and something odd seems to happen. Well, it might be a bug. Well, we want to try to squash those bugs as quickly as possible. Our old bug system used to be part of our main system, but it lacks some of the features that our new one does. So if you want to report a bug, you go up to this creature up here, which is known Mantis. It's going to open up a new page, Pandora Project slash bugs. It's going to ask for your username. The good news is it's going to be the same username as your Sequenia username and password. Hit log in, type in your password, and then log in. This is the first view that you will see. You'll see it says Pampadora Project at the top, and it should default to the world of Sequenia. Now, just in case you didn't know, Pandora Project is the umbrella for the world of Sequenia, as well as my other projects, Colonies, which is a game that's currently in development, Trinity War, which is a game that will be in development, as well as NFL Picks, which is a picking group that I have. This default view is called My View. You can see issues that are unassigned, things that you've reported. So if you report a bug, it will show there and you can track its progress as well. You'll see a timeline of things that have changed as well as recently resolved as well as all resolved issues. If you know a particular bug issue, like let's say your friend reported a bug, you can put in that number right up at the top here which let's say it was issue 633. Hit enter. And it will take you to that particular bug issue. It'll tell you all about it, what its status, when it was submitted, last updated, who reported it, the priority. In this case, I picked a bug that I knew was already resolved. So... It will tell you what is, when that issue was reported, as far as what version, what target version it is for fixed, and if it is fixed, which version it is. That way, say for example, we're on 3.03c right now, and you see that a bug is fixed in 3.04, that means it's coming in the next version. And it will give you a little bit of summary description as well as the history, anything that's been changed in it, any notes, etc., etc. You can also click monitor and get emailed anytime there are changes to that particular issue. Now, if you click on the view issues tab, this is going to pull up all the current issues. And this is one of the reasons why I changed over to this system, because now you can search by all kinds of different things. So if you were, say, searching for something regarding pets, you put that right in there, click Apply Filter, and now it's going to pull up all the different issues that are related to pets. This is really handy and something that our old bug tracker did not have. And then you can open up each one of these, even in different Windows if you want, so many different options. One of the next options, which is the big one here for reporting issues, this is when you actually have a particular issue. You have to select which category it's in and try to do your best to get within the right category. If you don't, I can alter it as well or our tester who goes through. You put what severity it is Obviously, if it's something like, you know, you can't do anything, you want to put major or a block or something like that, and the priority level. If it's something that doesn't affect your game much, it's just minor tech stuff, you know, then you would put low priority. The product version, 
you're going to see a drop down list of everything that goes through now the product version I'm going to go over to the main tab here you'll notice whether you're using the regular site or the mobile site you'll have a version number there you want to match that to that 3.3 C if you forget to do that I will auto correct it but it also helps me sometimes be able to tell whether it's in the main or mobile site and then you just give a general summary description and these are optional fields these are similar to what we had before but one of the interesting things you can do now is you can attach tags to it if you want these are some of the tags that people have used so far as well as upload screenshots directly to the system which is very helpful sometimes because I'll be like what do you mean by this and it's a great way to add an additional level of clarity and this is one of the other features that I love about this bug tracking system is you get the option of either doing a public one which everyone can see or a private so if it's like a security issue or something that's very bad that went wrong click on private and that way I can get that fixed and added to a hot fix then you'd click submit issue once it submits it will tell you what the actual number is and you can always track those issues now next up we have two additional tabs we have the change log this will show you everything that has been added to the system now for example 3.04 this shows you what it is what category it's under and you can click on these links to open them up it also shows you things for previous versions so you can scan through and see some of the different changes that have gone on now one of the features that I also like about this is something called our roadmap if you select on the roadmap it will show you any version that I've put out there and the things that I want to get inside of that is it rock you know fast that this is going to happen by then no but I try not to change them unless I absolutely have to and sometimes things push them back so these are some of the different versions coming out you'll notice I have everything in the Secfenia one out to 3.0 0.11 at the time of this video now if you look on down you'll also see that for example 3.04 it has a estimated time for it for release as well as 3.05 and you can also track to see how the progress is doing you'll notice on this 3.04 is listed at 98 percent So I think this bug tracking system will help our players. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about it. If you do have any questions about the bug tracker system, please feel free to contact me. You can always send an in-game mail to Zacharin or to Amaryllis, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.